Melbourne's rail network faces almost three months of constant disruption as work ramps up on a series of level crossing removals. The Belgrave, Lilydale and Sunbury lines will all be partially shut down. But the government says it's learned from the recent Frankston line closure. More from Andrew Lund. Acting Premier Jacinta Allen using virtual reality glasses to take a look at the future. It's clean. Yeah, it is, isn't it? Beautiful. <laughs> Bayswater Station will be demolished and rebuilt as part of a number of level crossing removal projects that are set to cause major disruption. We've learnt a lot from the uh, recent shutdown, particularly on the Frankston line, about how to move people smoothly around across, across buses and between stations. From October 4, the Sunbury line will close between Sunshine and Sunbury, with buses replacing trains until October 30. In the east, Bayswater station will close from October 15, with buses running to stations either side. On November 4, the Belgrave line will close completely from Ringwood for 37 days. Then, from December 27, buses will replace trains between Box Hill and Ringwood through until January 29. Surrounding roads will also be affected. The works will leave just two level crossings on the busy corridor between Ringwood and the city, including the scene of a horror crash at Surrey Hills earlier this month. Last week's $9.7 billion sale of the Port of Melbourne opened up potential funding for extra projects, but the government is yet to make any commitments. Our first and foremost priority is to remove those 50 level crossings that we committed to. Those communities quite rightly have an expectation that those 50 are the priority crossings that we remove. Andrew Lund, Nine News.